Hey guys, I'm Tom. Welcome to Zion Gaming and our new series, Shiplight, where I'll be looking at the ships of New Eden. Today we're going to take a look at the Heron, the humble Heron, the wonderful humble Heron. Now, this ship is a Kaldari frigate. It's a specific scanning frigate, uh, meaning it's not built for one-on-one -on -one combat. It can be used for that. I have seen them used incredibly effectively for, for combat, uh, but it is entirely geared about scanning exploration, finding wormholes, finding relic sites. This one in particular is set for running relic sites and I'll run you through the fit in just a moment. First off, the actual ship itself. Uh, as you can see here, it receives a 7.5% bonus to both core and combat scanner probe strength, I meaning it can be used quite effectively uh, for fleet support. It also receives a 5% reduction in salvage duration. Now I haven't put a salvage on this one in particular, it's not what I use the Heron for myself. In fact, usually I use its, its big brother, but scenario I'll use the Heron. Now the way it's fit up here is it has an improved cloaking device. It cannot fit a covert ops cloak which means it can't warp cloaked but it is very useful to have a cloak when you are scanning because quite often you won't be looking at shit, you won't be looking at your surroundings. So warp to a planet at 100, make a safe spot, warp back that safe spot and cloak. Nobody can find you in that scenario. We've got a core probe launcher. I would usually use a sisters one but I am on test server at the moment there so they're not available. Uh, that is normally fitted with Again, sister's core scanner probes, just for the extra bonus in scan strength there. A uh, small tractor beam should I need one, I, can't, I haven't come across a situation yet where I have, so I probably could swap that out for a salvager, uh, but it's always useful to have one on hand if you're picking up after a battle. Uh, micro update for moving around when not cloaked, you can't activate it when you are cloaked, so things like relic sites, quite often it can be 20-30 kilometers between uh, cans to hack, in that scenario that would be incredibly useful. Relic analyzer itself, I don't do relic sites that often so I haven't actually got the tech 2 variant yet but it does fit just fine on this fitting. And two scan range finding arrays to increase the scan probe strength and one scan acquisition array to uh, increase the speed at which the, the scanner actually scans. I've got a nanofiber internal structure 2 here which basically means the ship is slightly more agile and can move slightly faster, meaning if I do come into some kind of combat or contact it does mean that I can hopefully GTFO quickly and an expanded cargo hold because I want to spend as much time out there looking for relic sites in one of those relic sites rather than coming home to drop stuff off and going back out again. I've opted this fit to go for two rigs rather than three so I've got a small scope sharpener uh, which is the rig to increase the effectiveness of relic modules and the gravity capacitor upgrade which increases the scan probe strength again so it is it's possible to have a very, very, very strong probe with this with this ship in particular. Uh, now, if you look at the fitting here, it does have two turret and two launcher hard points, but it doesn't receive any bonuses. So, as I mentioned before, you can set it up to be uh, very effective in combat. Uh, it does have a good array for a frigate of this type of power grid and CPU there, if you want to use it. Like I said, I, do, I did go for the two rigs rather than the three. It can fit three. Uh, but all of the rigs that I wanted to fit use a 200 rig calibration, which is this bit here. Uh, and I could only fit two, so I'm not going to go ahead and try and nerf the fit to fit all three, I'm just going to go with the two then. As I mentioned earlier, it is a fantastic scanning ship. Uh, it's Big Brother the Buzzard is even better, but it does require quite a few skills. If you are quite new to the game and you do want to get into exploration and adventure, that kind of thing, uh, the Heron's a great place to start. Uh, it only requires about four minutes I think it is of training to get into one. It takes about two weeks to get to the point where you're flying one very well. I just have the mid slots here for the scan upgrades that are incredibly useful, if, especially if you don't have the skills to support your scanning uh, or if you do just want to make it a little bit easier for yourself. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more EVE tutorials, solo fleet and gang PvP and the mod light and ship light series. Add a comment if you've got a ship or module you'd like me to cover in a future episode. But until then, I've been Tom Zion. That's what I say.